Hi, my name is Peter and in this video I would like to share with you a mod I made for my Logitech G910 keyboard. I've been using this keyboard for quite a while and I really like it, uh, but there's just one major problem with it. Um, it's a wired keyboard. So I have a very limited space on my desk. And when I wanted to do some DIY on it, I either had to unplug the keyboard from the back of my PC or move it to a site, but then that would again limit my space. So neither of these options were convenient for me. And that's why I decided to do something about it. And now, whenever I need space on my desk, I simply unplug it. Um, so in order to show you how it works, I will need to disassemble it first. Um, so it's time for a quick time lapse. Enjoy! So that is the mod itself. Um, the parts that you will need are a micro USB adapter PCB, like this one, and a single JST PH 5 pin connector, like this one, and old USB cable that you will no longer need because you'll need to cut it. Uh, two M2 7mm screws and a 3D printed part that I designed for this purpose and you can find it on Thingiverse. So I'll put the link in the video description. So the standard USB cable has four wires inside. Red, which is uh, the power in. Green, which is the data plus. White, which is the data minus, and then black, which is the ground. In addition, you have a shielding around these wires, um, and you will also need to connect that to the keyboard. Um, you would need around 170 millimeters length of the cable, um, but be before you um, do anything, before you cut it, just make sure you do exact measurements um, that suit your case. Um, so now the only thing that's left is to connect all of these parts as per the diagram um, shown and you're basically done. So you should end up with something like this. Um, you could use some heat shrink, I strongly encourage it. And then we just mount it to the body of the keyboard. Um, here's the hole where the original cable goes through. Um, so just push it in, angle it a bit, push it inside. It's a bit tight. Um, then you have to lock it in here. It's a bit tight. I'll hold myself with a small screwdriver. Okay, and that's in place. Now just put it as it was before. Maybe push it back a bit. Take the keyboard PCB with all the buttons. Put it inside. 
like so. And now you only have, apart from putting the whole keyboard back together, um, you only have uh, two things to do. So plug in the JST connector to the um, to the second part of the plug in here, and then mount the uh, screw in the shielding into this um, threaded part. And obviously, don't forget to co connect the volume rocker. And that's it. Okay, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and have a great rest of the day. Bye.